With the continuing rise of at home DNA tests, many people are finding surprising information about their family trees, but not all of these findings are good. Rachel Fortunato takes a look at an organization that helps people navigate the effects. He writes Hope and Healing host retreats for people who have discovered their family is different than they thought. There are tons of these people who are finding this discovery. A study shows that 20% of Americans have taken a mail and DNA test. One third of those people have discovered a relative they didn't previously know about. It is literally life changing, earth shattering, and um, uh, you're not the same person you were before. These life changing experiences are often only understood by people who have experienced similar discoveries. These retreats bring people together who can provide a lasting support system. You know, I have a lot of people with good intent in my life that are very supportive, um, but there's just nothing like being around people that have had the exact same experience as you. The realizations aren't always happy. At retreats like this one in Arizona, facilitators host sessions that allow people to process the change. I help people develop, using their five senses, um, develop um, to deeper, more visceral, um, words and ways to write about their experiences. Along with offering healing sessions, attendees also stay in a private home together. Here Rights co-owner Aaron Cosentino explains how this aspect reflects the real world. We heal in these sessions, but, but we also think that it's super important that people realize that we do heal in the mundane. The word Hereith means longing for someone's home. The hope is, at retreats like this, Participants can find a new sense of what home can be. In Phoenix, Rachel Fortunato, Cronkite News. Their Phoenix retreat was the first in the western U.S. and most retreats last around five days.